Hello, everybody, and welcome Hello. back to the Fortnite Everything podcast. I am here with PBJ, as always, and it's going to be a bite-sized episode today. We're going half the yes. length. Long story short, that's what we're doing today. That's not yes, really sir. a long story short, but... <laughs> Anyways, short. the day that we're recording this podcast here, there's been a lot of drama in the Fortnite community. Yes. It's about the new skin age rating, of course. For some reason, there's actually a lot more than just the skin rating as well. People are saying this is the worst update ever added. I've heard, uh, yeah, but that, that yeah, but that's know. like very little. Like I, I, I wouldn't, I don't want to say very little, but I'm talking like everybody's going crazy about yeah, the skin like, age I, rating. I don't know. It's to me, it's it kind of makes sense though. No, it does make sense, and I, but I understand I mean, why people are upset. It. It's a teen game, so I feel like it shouldn't be affected. But they've also gotten sued and stuff like that because obviously kids play their game yeah i feel like since it's a team rated game they shouldn't be allowed to get sued for this kind of stuff but technically it's definitely safer to have children ratings because then you can't see anything inappropriate any gruesome guns or yeah. anything i so, mean they wouldn't add anything inappropriate in the first place but like a gun you can't see that <laughs> in a child's game yeah i get that initially i was kind of like because i was reading this all at work today and uh catching up a little bit and I was like, initially, I was like, okay, they, my, my first reaction, I was like, oh, okay, Epic Games should have like said that they were going to do this or like offered refunds or something along those lines. But then I used my brain for two seconds and I was like, there's probably something deep down in the terms <laughs> where Epic yeah. Games, they can change whatever they want. And then I saw a post where it's like, hey, you guys all agreed to this. So yeah. I'm okay with it. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's weird. It, nothing you can do, but. It sucks, but it's understandable in my opinion. This is probably going to be so time, unpopular, dude. At the same time, how often are you playing three-year-old games? <laughs> and if you are, it's a three-year-old game. Who I, cares? I, f I feel like it Their is feelings. It is uh, Twitter just being itself, right? It is kind of funny, though, that you can wear... What's that guy's name? The new guy? The Halloween guy? Who? Are you talking I about Jack Skellington? Jack no, Skellington. No, the Michael. Oh, guy. Michael Myers. What am I doing? Yeah, Michael Myers. Michael Myers. You can uh, you can wear Michael Myers <laughs> in a three plus, but you can't wear Agent Peely because he has a gun on his side. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah. but yeah, I think everyone's kind of like going crazy about it. Like I've seen like other people like, and again, I understand why the outrage is there. Like I'll use this for example. I talk uploaded uh or not uploaded video or put out a tweet where if they don't revert this, he's I'm paraphrasing of course. If they don't revert this, I can't see myself supporting the game anymore. Wow. So you're, but it's not just him. It's like a lot of people saying that. It's just I thought. Well, I, that's I like also coming up from on somebody that I think I talk plays a lot of those creative maps. Yes, as well, he does. I as think. far as I know. So I think it's weird, but I think it makes sense. It also is a little weird, like I said. But I feel like, oh yeah, somebody something that I saw from everybody is that UEFN's ruining the game, which kind of they're focusing too much on UEFN because. This is only related to it, but I do think if we give it enough time, it will go far and it'll be fun once people actually like every every little detail they add is gonna make it way better. Oh yeah. And they're changing so much stuff in the real game that's affected that's for UEFN that's affecting the real game, which is a little weird, but I think in the long run it's better because they probably know Battle Royale is bound to slow down eventually like fortnite's gonna start slowing down at some point like even if it's slowly over time i, I think it's be like decades so man i yeah, i don't so but like, i don't think it's gonna slow down enough to really affect it i always say that it's gonna go down like minecraft it's gonna always have a player base it will be one of the well it is the greatest game of all time in my opinion mm -hmm. but i think it's one of those things where you hear youtubers or whatever you hear all those people that are like what is it called like money professionals like you're teaching you how to make money and they're like you need a solid income or like a uh, what's the word it's like a a something p p, p something p a passive income oh passive I income feel like that's, i feel like that's what this is i feel like this is a passive income where they have the battery out which is going to make more but they're really trying to get this out there so that way it can keep up with roblox like they have this main game that'll stay as long as minecraft but roblox style will stay and be as popular as Roblox, yep. hopefully someday. So it'll be double money. It's like a, it's a game in a game, which they're also doing with racing. They're yep. gonna have three games in one, which is what Tim Sweeney said a while ago. He said, in a few years, you'll see Fortnite as not just a game, but as a platform. Platform, yeah. Which is, it, we got a battery out. We got save the world, which they actually updated today. 
I saw that, years. and I saw a mothership down there. Yeah, they added the 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 last reality to that's, it. That's and, and nuts. Thorn, Kato Thorn is in it. I love that. Like his, so I don't know. Now is Save the World canon or what? <laughs> I don't know. I, I to be honest with you, I kind of hope not because I don't follow Save the World, and then I'll have yeah, to follow I, Save the World because I love the Fortnite storyline. At the same time, I kind of hope that they do. I could see them trying to tell the story through different worlds, though, like this, like Save yeah. the World. I'm interested to see if they tell the story through open world. Yeah, I'm interested to see if they even bring it out. <laughs> like, I, I would imagine so. Okay, so what if we all we got all this Donald Mustard stuff, and I was a little disappointed because we got the announcement that, oh, you're going to be able to vote for a map for the Game Awards, which that's really cool. But the fact that it was Donald Mustard teasing this whole time with this guy for the Game Awards, and then it ended up being that, and Donald didn't even make a tweet. He just retweeted it. And I'm like, that's all it was? Like, you you got your wife into this. And it's just that. <laughs> but what if when they announce that, Donald Mustard comes on stage, he announces who won the map, and then he also is like, yo, so this is what's coming next. And they show a trailer of, like, open world or something. That'd and be really cool. And it's storyline-driven said by Don Mustard. That would be sick. That would be I'm awesome. That right they ha- now, dude, they have a that. they have a lot of potential with what they can do with open world and the storyline. Or just open yeah. world in general. I think Fortnite could have a great thing. But this is a tiny bit off topic, but something like just remind me of like what's coming next in chapter five and stuff. Did you see the rumors about a train system on the chapter five map? Um, I didn't see that. So apparently That's what we've wanted though. I've been asking for that for so long. Oh, there's one more thing I want to talk about. Okay, Wait, hang on. Okay. But it, it, if I forget it's voice chat. Um, so on the chapter five map, you have like a bunch of POIs that have like a clear, like road type that's going through all of them. And then you can draw that kind of like throughout the map. So people are starting to think that's a train system. I've been dying to have a train system, a bus system, anything like that in Fortnite. Could you imagine just hopping on the train, just having some fights on there or being inside the train and just like having like drive-bys and gunning people down. Like that would be, that would be incredible. Want to know what I imagine in that? I imagine you're hanging out the side of the train with an LMG. Just <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I imagine, dude? You know what I imagine? Knocking somebody, carrying them and just keeping them on the tracks. Oh my <laughs> Yo, bro, you could throw somebody on the tracks as they're knocked. <laughs> literally, <they> literally. Just... <laughs> like, could you imagine the clips that could come from that? That would be hilarious. I've been wanting a train and a bus system forever. Yeah, bro. Forever. Back in chapter one, the original chapter one, they somebody started. I don't know if it was a leak or a rumor or just an idea somebody had that would be cool. It was a it was a train that would go all the way around the map, and I was like, dude, that would be the coolest idea ever. Yeah. You know what else I want to speaking of bus systems is uh, I change Horde Rush mm-hmm. completely. Have you? I don't. I don't remember if you're a Call of Duty guy. I like Call of Duty. You know Transit. The map, the the zombies. It's a zombies map where from Black Ops, where you get into a bus and it drives you around to different POIs or different places. Uh, I've heard the name and I know I've probably played it. I just don't sound. I'll explain it to you briefly. So we're gonna change Horde Rush completely. It's a never-ending game, just like Zombies, right? You just get to whatever level you get never to. Never-ending would be sick. Yeah, just like Call of Duty Zombies. They don't why even do why that is it after three rounds? Why? Save the world. They don't even do that in Save the That's World. That's crazy. So anyways, you are spawning wherever you spawn in, dropping the battle yeah. bus, that little circle, just like Horde Rush, except there's a bus. The bus leaves every so often, let's say 10 minutes, and it drives you to another POI, but you have to be in that bus when it leaves. And then you oh, just fight killer. zombies in different POIs. Like, I think Fortnite would be so good because Transit in Call of Duty only drives to, like, let's say five locations. Yeah. And it just keeps going between that. And you could get left behind by the bus, but it becomes infinitely harder to play the game because all the zombies are going to come after you. You're out in the wild. You're not in the safe zone with the bus. Bro, what if uh, they did that and they just went through every POI in the game? So That's what I'm literally saying. literally never ending. You got That's what I'm one, saying. Two, three, four. That's what I'm saying. That would be cool, yeah. I would love that. Why does Horde Rush... So, did you hear about the new voice chat update today? Well, at this time, this podcast is probably coming out. It's probably like a day or two ago. So, now you're going to be able to... You're going to be able to report voice chatting. So, there's going to be recording. Like, if I say something mean to you... So, it's recording your game in voice. Well, Epic Games is probably already doing that in general, to be honest with you. No, but like, you could actually report it now. Yeah, and it'll have like evidence. Bro, 
<laughs> Someone's gonna get in so much trouble. I already sent it to a couple of my friends. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and one of my guys is like, well, we can't play squad fills anymore. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and for uh, anybody listening, it's nothing like too bad. It's just like you, you know, you you start like bantering with squad fills, right? It's fun. Yeah, but that's then some, gonna be. Yeah, it's. I it's, wonder, do you get banned? Maybe banned uh, from voice chat for a week? Prob- no, you probably get banned from the game. I would imagine so. No way. Yeah. Imagine losing your skins because you said something offensive to someone. <laughs> well, yeah, that depends on how Epic Games takes it because obviously, like, you it's could... it's understandable if you're going to ban somebody for, like, saying some, like, really, really inappropriate yeah. words. You know what I mean? But what if somebody just gets butt hurt? you know? Yeah. In a I mean, game, like, it happens. People it. rage. Nah, but judging on the history of Epic Games kind of reviewing stuff, it doesn't sound like it's too good of a system. And I'm an Epic but, Games. I'm an. I'm the biggest Epic Games defender out there, but like their their reviewing system, I <laughs> from what we've seen people true. posting online, I don't exactly but trust it too they much. They could technically do it as Rocket League does, where you say something wrong in the chat and somebody reports you for it, you get banned from the chat for like a week. I would like that. That would be fire. And but then you can still use voice chat with your friends if you want to, just not like Discord or something. A tiny little part of me. Tiny little part of me. Nah. Is, what? <laughs> you want to ban your friends? In the game? No. What? No. <laughs> you're gonna like. You're gonna oh. like blackmail them. Like, <laughs> I'll report you right now I'll, if you don't give me that scar. Like I'll I'll play with my sister and just not even tell her about the voice chat thing <laughs> and just oh, report nah. her. <laughs> no. Just wait for them to say something offensive and yeah. then be like, I'll report you if you don't give me that gold scar. Dude, I've always wanted. I would never do this. Never. Like for real because oh, no. because I it, it's going too far with like trolling your friends but i really 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 want to because i record so much for like gameplay shorts personal use whatever it may be like memories with all of us so yeah. i have voice recordings of like everybody that i play with just ai it just make them say something disgusting that they never said before uh, like and then <laughs> well that's where that's where the soundboard could be uh not a good situation right it's it's Actually, great wouldn't you get banned though because it's coming from your mic. So, nah, that wouldn't work. Uh, yeah, I guess so, right? But still, I mean, just to do for fun. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. That's I'm interesting. Sorry. That's um, funny, kind of. But anyways, a little part of me. Teeny little part. Maybe this whole age rating thing. Maybe the voice chat banning is making them on their way to make proximity chat. I was actually going to say that. Because if you just gave it a 16 plus, 18 plus even. Proximity chat in a real match. Proximity chat in... Let's say open world even. Oh, or, I never even thought of that. Proximity chat and just to create a game mode. We know we actually did get a glitch one time. They got a feature added to Creative UEFN where you could add proximity chat, but they removed it because it was a not supposed to be released yet. It wasn't. Well, yeah, that was a th- that was a long time coming. Like they yeah, were planning but like, on putting that in creative mode. But they have it ready, and I feel like well, they had it ready since age, imposters. I know, but I feel like ever since like since this age rating. It's another step closer. Just one more step. I know, I know. And Chapter 5 is the golden opportunity. What's the big thing that can be introduced in Chapter 5? What's the big new mechanic they could bring? Why are all eyes on Fortnite right now? Proximity chat would be that big. It would be that big. Especially in Fortnite, though, because Fortnite's so wide variety. Like, Call of Duty is hard to get a grasp on for a lot of new people. Like, adults Isn't that crazy, by the way? Like, Call of Duty used to be the easy game. <laughs> yeah, it's just hard. It's like, people got too good, you die too quick. Like, But that's why it was always know, easy. Like, yeah, it's weird. But in Fortnite, it's a kid's game, it's a teenager's game, and it's an adult game. Mm-hmm. Anybody can enjoy it. It's simple enough to grasp really quickly. Like, the game looks simple, but it's not a child's game. Mm-hmm. But... That I can't also... believe you play a kid's game. But that could also make it really easy for proximity chat because Call of Duty with proximity chat, it's kind of just chaotic. Like it's fun if you know how the game works, but That's if you're in the game, no proximity chat's so much fun. It was really fun. I know, but I'm like, agreeing with you. But I'm saying like the chaos is what makes it really, really fun. But I know, but, like, but it's hard to get into. And I can, can you see hold this Fortnite thought? Adding it. Hold this thought. We're about to get to part two. Okay. Guys, if you want to hear us talk more about proximity chat, head over to PBJ's channel. It will be right on his face. 
right here. I'm going to cover it. Click on that video. Click on PBJ's face. It'll take you over to his channel. Thank you so much for coming to this part of the podcast. Sorry, it was a little bit short today. Next week, we will be making up for it. Guys, PBJ, anything to say? Click my face. <laughs> you know, probably had you doing that because it's been over like 20 seconds now, like before. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, guys. Go check out PBJ's video.